Hello boys, my name is Kleoshi. Welcome back to my blind playthrough of Xeoblade Chronicles 2 Tornado to Golden Country for Switch. This is the DLC of Xeoblade Chronicles 2, also with the Japanese voices and naval, of course. In the last video we left off once again doing some more grinding and some side quests here and there. We're gonna just probably be exploring mostly here because uh, that's a thing that we do. Okay, um, is there something that increases threat? We should have fought that earlier for Nail if he wants to be an actual tank, although he's not actually, he actually has less HP than the other two right now, but he has his block stuff though. I don't know. Well, if we want to really make him tanky, we need to find a good pouch item for him at some point. Of course, we can only learn that later as we go through. You have enough for something. It's crazy how both blades and aids, in addition to main characters, can now level up their arts, which is really cool. Alright. Need to check this as well. I know we need flammies, which are typically found near water, and this is where we were initially going. I've known for a fact that they are typically found near the water-based areas, as well as these Cassie Credibles travels as well. Actually, this is a good way of healing too. But again, if I want to make this work, I actually need a. I don't need it right now, but when the knowledge needs to be like an actual take, I think I need to do more stuff. Okay, that looks like a massive guy, but yet he uh, is a unique monster, which is cool. crazy to think. Alright. I think I finally get what these arts were. I I never got what these arts did in Zeal by 2, but now I get what you're supposed to do with them. You're supposed to first attack the opponent and do some bits to build up some threat. Typically do a special and then do the arts slowly afterwards, and then you just stay in place and while you're there, you'll block most main attacks and even heal. It's effectively your shield and heal move. I think there are a couple of this like that that are similar. Oh, and yes, we can get more experience, just like in other RPGs if we fight enemies higher level than us. I can actually cobble this into Bridget. It's a pretty good combo so far. It seems to take them out pretty well. Well, that's not a. Uh, that actually did look like a fly for a second, but closer section, just a little enemy. Okay, we timed that right. So we're able to block that attack. If you can time that as they go to use a big attack, you can stop them using just that. We can't cancel arcs into each other right now, but that's probably the next main thing we're trying to go for. Alright, I'll mash the button trying to get our level 2 combo, though a lot of it relies on Jin actually being able having doing his game. See, this is a backup we could use. Yep. 
Oh, there's a bolt that's actually a bit more difficult. Quick switch to you and go straight into a shield block. Okay, good. We'll heal. Uh, these guys do more damage. Bam. Oof. That was, uh... Slightly unexpected. I didn't expect a level 20 to come in there that quickly. But again, that higher level means you get more experience that way. Well, there is one area where there aren't 32s, but... Hmm, I don't know if I want to go there. I want to go near here. Try to find the flammies that I was looking for earlier. But yes. You will get slightly more experience if we can take out a tear tear. It's actually kind of important that we, uh, just... Where are they? Oh, they went towards a different opponent altogether. Should I have to switch over? Oh, I see you. We have an ability. We have to switch back. There's that rogue as well. It's hard to tell if that landed or not. It would have to say quest updated or something, though. Okay, we got one off during all those battles. All that, and we only got one, though. Just one, though, that's all. We are getting a lot of levels more quickly now. Oh, uh, which is nice. Okay. Receive a certain amount of damage. Ooh, okay. Alright. Alright, we're almost level 17 with that. There you go. I was about to say now because I was thinking to the main game and then I just realized it's not the case. I don't think I used that in time. It's also possible you might not be able to block attacks. Alright, that monster is a bit too strong for us right now. We're gonna try to get this spot though while we're here. And keep in mind, since this is a uh, unique, it would fall even if we had aggressiveness off. Goodness, it's really good at sniping us. Maybe even if a uh, ranged attack is technically bad. It's not too hard to run for them, although we... <laughs> we're doing it so blindly, we nearly ran into... more stronger enemies. I'm gonna try and just jump up the side of this spot instead. Oh, wait. Hang on, first there's a treasure trove in the way. Let's get that. That was a bit more gold than usual. Now we head up here. A 
that's the set that we saw before. Oh, these are the enemies we have to defeat for the quest setup. So, right, it is intended. Because it's around a level 30 area, it's also intended to be a level 30 quest. We'll have to come back to that later for that reason. Alright. We found some Piranha Xs that are away from the other enemies. And we are too late there. Alright, we need a different Don't try him now. Four percent affinity gain. Uh, let's do this one. A good reason, just so I don't tell. Well, I guess it has a uh, defense on it. That's the one reason why I went for that. We'll have to find some really rare pouch items, and once we do, we'll be spamming those nonstop. <laughs> Missed us. Oh. 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 perfectly. Oh. 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 Isn't that that I am that I mentioned before that I wanted for him? Oh no, it's something else. Hmm. Oh, he's running right towards us. Nearly almost ran right into us. I guess they weren't joking when they said the going off the road could be dangerous. That's basically the worry of if you go into a spot where you're not wanted, uh, you can see some really high levels pop out. <laughs> we'll be able to explore more if we hit level 30. <laughs> Honestly, even if it is, even if going up here at least decks a marker, then it's at least worth it. Oh, I guess what I meant to say is, uh... What I meant to say was, uh... Landmark. That'd be worth it. Now, if we were playing in passive mode, the easy thing we could do is just go around and explore all the landmarks right away. See hey, what we do. Another reason why I picked it like that, though, and not like this, though, like not put on passive mode, is because just like I mentioned, it makes the game more like Xenoblade 1. Xenoblade 1 by default does not have, have passive turn on combat, so you do have. You can die if you uh, run into areas you're not wanted. Oh! We also found our main game. Ainsot. I forgot we were looking for this. Tell me, you finally found the uninhabited Titan? That's right, made it there without a scratch. The map, the bard saw, and the Elder Sajin, it was all true. <laughs> yeah. I wish you could have. Uh, uh, we. This you could have had some of that fun after you bought it with me, no fear. Because back then I had no idea I'd be the driver of an Aegis someday. Not a clue. Also had no idea I'd end up with a blade who was so hungry for experience. I prefer it when you have something interesting to say. 
I choose to take that as a compliment. I... Sure, it was hardly boring. Discuss- I mean, that legendary uninhabited titan that natives give us fine chase. Natives? I thought you said it was uninhabited. Precise, we didn't meet any humans there. Just some monsters of the arachnal antel and skeeter variety. Cool. And they're a pretty huge specimen, too. Still looked like extra tempting appetizers to them. There were really quite a lot of them. We are lucky to get off that titan in one piece. Ah, fine recompense for an adventurer's heart. So you plan to build a holiday villa there? Came to nothing. This is more than a little traffic. Well, I mean, that wasn't the primary aim. But perhaps I didn't get a material award, but I certainly got a spiritual award. Things didn't work out so well for my playmates, though. How so? It was kind of a paradise for insects, but I heard later it was to be laid to waste by someone or other. The ways of humans are often cruel. What's done is done. There was time of war and have to find a place for some refugees. But the monsters couldn't have grasped that. They probably just saw arrogant humans wrecking their home. Ah, telling of it falls hard upon my ears. Majesty, forgive my interruption. But this appears to be the location mentioned in the report. Oh. Ah, so we're here already. Journey past is blinking as the blinking of an eye thanks to Adam's enchanting tales. If your servant's humble recounting was able to relieve your imperial tedium, truly the most blessed of mamma and I am I. Oh, well, I do wish you cut it out, Adam. I'm not your better and you should know it. Be so sure of that, Hugo, old oh friend. Not in Mephra, I'd really like to get your opinion on this, as the ages. Uh... I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is Invalis' handiwork. How do you come to that conclusion, Mephra? So it's asked with a belt of the earth and turn it into glass. But whatever did that only scorch the glass. It could have been such a high temperature. That is a very wise deduction. We're lucky to have you for an ally. I offer my apologies to you all for leading you to this disappointing conclusion. Ah, uh, disappointing, I add. Nah, Aegon, we could not have known without further investigation. With each possibility we discard, we move all the closer to our goal. Everyone, look there. Oh! Monster! It's a big one. Indeed, we cannot let it run right. Speak of the damage it could cause if it got to lash him cold or a salmon. Everyone, get to it. And we're forced into a battle. Well, good thing we leveled up, because uh, that'll make this a bit easier. This is another good spot for us to get that blade combo that we mentioned before. I do finally get what this is. So yeah, you can... Oh. He just missed. He tried to do his move and he just missed me. Yep, he has Cruise Cuisine just like he did originally. And Fin of Fear as well. This is a boss we saw later in the original game. Ah. All that only to get to find out it was only level 1. I think that should have gotten it done. Oh well. Fire Spearing Monster. It's a good thing we had Agonon on hand. Perhaps it's bold of me to say, but I've dealt with worse. Well, it seemed aim safe to assume that this was the cause of the burn marks, but I've never dreamed that such a foul thing could have lain in wait so close to Torgoth. Maybe it was driven out of its original home in a territorial dispute. I heard that happens from time to time. Maybe, or likely some. Human stole and smashed its home up. We call them monsters, but to them we're the monsters. Indeed, it must be thus. The day shall dawn where man's exploitation of the Titans will bring us all to ruin. Perhaps that dawn is already upon us. Yeah, I don't know. Is that like just theorizing stuff? Yeah, is that gonna happen? Oh. This is the prayer. This is, uh, the. Praetor area. Right. Remember this guy? Yep, Malthus is back.
This is before he was a predator, though. He has this friend right now. Al is the actual leader. やめろ、ミツ。構わん。アケディアの司法、天の聖杯だ。Just blew it apart with uh, no more or less uh, effort. Kunda Bagai Munjanaku. Onto no Kamio Cage there, Kuno Reo. Sonata no Chikarana Soredato. Welcome, Neda. Hatai Roga Varu Sodana. Bartolichina Yakini Nate. せいかの後ろ盾も怪しくなってきたな。お前には関係ない。ノロボ、ここに来る必要もあるまい。ここだ。<笑> ショがあったのか。わしと聖火しか知らん。これこそ我が祖ユディキウムの神髄。もっともこの装置それ自体は雲海の底からサルベージされたものだがな。おそらくは伝説の地モルスのものだろう。モルス。見ろ。これが人間の細胞を構成している物質の模式図だ。そしてこれがブレイドのもの。確かに似ているな。当然だ。元は同じ人間のものなのだからな。これ自体は刺して驚くほどのものではない。だが同じものではないか。ああ、てるな。これはコアクリスタル。そうだ。ブレイドのコアクリスタルには我々人間のものだけではない様々な動物の構成物質が模式図となって記録されている。つまり<笑> すべての生物の生命情報をブレイドが持っているとそれだけではないまだ未分化の部位だがこれを見ろこれはアルスのものだ未分化のこの部分がやがてアルスへと進化することを示唆している実に興味深い これぞまさに神からの言葉。神の言葉。そう。お前が求めていたものだ。わしはこれを究明したい。神がこの世界で何をなさんとしているのかを、それを地中に収め、我が物とすることを。聖火も同じなのか。どう。かな。お前もそれを望んでいるのだろう。いいよ。手を貸そうじゃないか。There's a long one. <laughs> but to be fair, these cutscenes are supposed to be epic because show you more of the story. I believe that concludes our mission. Shall we head to the flagship? 
fine by me. It's a good place for us to exchange information. It's currently marred at Lashem Cold. Then to Lashem Cold we go. Alright. Alright, let's go into some more battles. There we go. Decent damage. So now the other quest should have updated to completed now, except we might have already gotten it from that previous storyline battle. Oh. We're still looking for those family enemies. We haven't found them yet. Look at these massive rages on these characters. We're not even close to near this guy and he pulled from like this far away. Oh, 
楽しいな。So I go back here. I don't know. I don't know. こういうの憧れてたんです。こういうの憧れてたんです。憧れてたんです。We'll see. Lauren, um, he's very intense. This area was built by the Shia army. Hmm. Yeah. The Hongok was destroyed by the Metsu. It was the most important part of the Tosei. We can do the best to prevent it, but it was the same thing as the Shia army. The Shia army was destroyed by the Tosei. It was the most important part of the Tosei. どの勢力も本来の目的を忘れて争っているようだなそれだけ世界に余裕がなくなっているということでしょう、うん、様子を見てきましょうところでイーラの状況はいかがですか国王陛下の賢明なる統治のもと安寧を謳歌していると言いたいところだけどね内実はどこも同じですか熱による破壊はイーラの領有にも及び始めている本当なら我が国も援軍を差し向けたいところなのですが無理しなくていいさそのためにアーケディアから彼女を譲り受けたわけだからね Okay. So, Kimi, Yahari Jiki Irao, Shisha Okte Honto in Yokata. Anatanga Yuto Sharingi Naranai, Kunimotoni Namikazewa Tateta Kunai no desna. Tada no Josai des, Ekyo Yukua Kaimuda. So Kode Oareba desna. コアの色は違うようだねおまけに女性とはカレンという意味だよメツは屈強なタイプをした大男だった不安かしらむしろその逆だよブレイドの能力に容姿性別の関係がないことぐらい常識だ君は抵抗軍のヒロインになれる担がれるつもりはないんだけどそれでいい君に頼みたいことはただ一つ私の過ちを正してくれることあの滅を葬り去ってもらうことなのだからうん
なるほど辺境を平定し遠征軍の雄と歌われた彼がブレイドの暴走なんてこれまで一度としてなかったことだからねアーケディアとしては公にしたくはないのだろう抵抗軍への支援もわざわざアバリティアを経由させているくらいだそれであなたのもとへ宝刀王子だからねボカことを収めればそうも言っていられないのではよしてくれ君と同じで権力に興味はない終わったらイントンして畑でも耕すよ皇帝陛下第三住人隊が帰還したようなのですが何かあったのかい妙なものを見たと申しています傭兵崩れの集団が人目を避けるように移動していたとか傭兵崩れ確かに妙ですねこの辺りにはもう稼ぎどころの戦場も役立つできそうな村もないというのに陛下の御城の通りむやみに戦闘は起こさず行く先を見届けただけで帰還したそうですそうかそれで行き先は村の外れだとか村の外れ墓場くらいしかなかったなシンそうか Yeah, that's right. We're going to the graveyards. Wasn't Laura going to be there? Yeah, now that suddenly、uh, poses a bad problem. <laughs> oh, crap. Laura's about to get Sarah the deer. Who knows? I was going to get Sarah the deer. I was going to get Sarah the deer. I was going to get Sarah the deer. Oh, there's a lot of people. She remembers. Oh, yeah. This is the jerk who would. <laughs> Gord. This is the jerk who attacked、uh, Laura when she was just a young kid. うん。力を知ってて、ブレードよりも傭兵を集めたんだろそういうこと安心しな死なねえ程度に可愛がってやるからよ This might be one of those do can't win battles, who knows If it's multiple enemies Then we might not be able to win this battle right away Okay, alright, raise the less But still, quite a bit. Okay, we have. Got... I'm glad we got some bubbles on Laura. Probably be really hard otherwise. Of course, now we actually do have some healing in the form of HP potions and haze. Haze is so cool in battle, I like her. It's good that she has a healing move. I'm 
turns out they're not as strong as I thought. Alright. Okay. Oh, this is pretty cool. テーマの係る奴らだ。はい。逃がさねえように取り囲め。やっぱりダウラ様だけでも大丈夫。来てくれたわ。てめえ。Jen is back. Classic boo right there. Take out the leader and the rest will scram. And now the Ardean Air Force is here. Sleeve it for my sake. <laughs> and the soldiers are taking the rest. Alright. That's how I fought. So they did get sapped back into a fray. Oh, they got sapped back into a fray. Oh, they got sapped back into a fray. やっぱり私もご座船っていうのにお邪魔させてもらおうかな。はい。いて。いてよ。あ、ちくしょう。Oh, he ran it. Okay, this guy had to run into the Praetor's troops. The Praetor's troops. Oh my goodness. Oh my. This other guy is kind of, uh, not, so, uh, not only not having a good day anymore, is he? His desire is gone, and now... Okay. What's gonna happen now? We didn't use Team Adam yet in main battle. Let's uh, switch them in next. Also, now that the other characters are back, I'm gonna have to make sure they have stuff in. Speaking of which. I was about to say, I think he needs this right now. Got one ability. 
Any extra abilities so you can learn is very helpful. You should uh, actually uh, use these items. Let's go to this campsite and uh, make the items that we need. And we can also catch up our levels as well. Uh, extra damage from specials and recharges arts. Okay, this is probably something we can go for. Oh, I just realized what we got with that. We need... We got meat from that. That's actually kind of important for one of the characters. Right. But I thought I would go in. A seeker is an item which you go to craft. With it, you'll be able to investigate the old machine stone across the world and obtain new kinds of collectibles. There are two different kinds of seekers, and each lets you investigate a different kind of machine. Oh, well, turns out that's very important. Alright, I think I have an idea what I want to do now. <laughs> Oh, this is how we get our ally sheeting now. Ah. So you investigate these using these items and extend them to do stuff. Also, the main storyline's here. Well, here we are. Welcome aboard, my honored guests. It's funny, I was expecting it to be all glitz and glamour. Halls of gold, diamond chandeliers, and all that. But there's nothing like that. I like this much better. Depends on the country. Some of the nobility like to travel in style, and believe me, they don't go halfway. But the other hand is a military state. They take a more pragmatic approach. The emperor must be a masterful driver, so must their diplomatic vessels be armed for war. This is the Ardadian way. So as long as its mission is not a covert one, every flagship under our command must be a throne that I may send. And if the leader is the first to fall, what then? Jin. It's alright, well, he makes a valid point. Precisely how Aegon and Bridget, the jewels of the Empire, have been stolen upon me. Your Majesty. Do everything in our power to protect you, Your Majesty, even if it, at the cost of our lives. I'm blessed to have such loyal companions. Your Majesty, we have urgent news. His Majesty is currently entertained us. I either trust you to not incur his displeasure. Oh, my own apologies, Your Majesty. It's alright. I trust this is due to special importance. Please give us your time. Of course, Your Majesty. As though we applied stricter regulations to our scout patrols in light of the recent tragedy at Torgoth. Well, one of our patrols happened upon a young Gormonti near the camp by uh, said Joe fell, but they lost track of him. So you think he might be a survivor? I believe so. We can send out further controls of melee if his magic ascends. I see. I'm sorry that we have to keep you aim. Please go ahead. 
Yes, Your Majesty. Alright. I'd like for our country to shelter as many refugees as fall within our mains. I do hope he could be found quickly. Wait, we should go with them. What for? Their army's not exactly short-staffed. He's just a kid. Hope he's scared witless of the soldiers. Of course he's going to run away. There's that point. Very well, let's head out. We'll do well to make haste before he strays any from our field. Thanks, guys. You're such a bunch of do-gooders. It's gonna land us in trouble someday. Alright. Now our main storyline quest. They are making us do a lot more main storyline quests now than there were before. Also, once we collect uh, items, we are able to get more different stuff. Exit where I can tell you you performed the five blade calls at. I'll report my good news to Ropoli, my driver. Have to hand it to you, you passed the primary test with flying covers. Oh, uh, didn't I tell you it's a two step process? The real test starts now. To consider your skills, I think you're ready to move straight to the next step. Here, so come talk me whenever you're ready to continue. Alright. But what is that step? We get blade combo boost for that. So our blade combos are strong. Right to you, I can't resist the challenge, right? Like I said, I need to make sure our very driver has capable allies to exploit him on his danger session. So I ask you to do something a little trickier than last time. Want you to do. Basically it's the same drill as the year four, but now you need to do five of your finest free stage blade combos. Like I said before, blade combos are strange specials and just not that different for the second. For the free stages, you'll need to use a level 1, 2, and 3 special each respectively. That's a basic principle. And since you clear that first trial, let me tell you about critical loots while you're here. Here is what we call a special clay color that follows a particular elemental sequence. And when I know is fire, fire, and light. Do that, and you'll deal much more damage than with just a normal column. There are plenty of other critical loots to discover. I hope you'll take this chance to exceed on a level. Uh, don't worry about it. critical loots are really part of today's test, so I won't grade you on that. Basically, I don't mind play clubs you pull off as long as they reach the first stage. As before, you can pick the place, time, and target. My ether abilities let you trap movement, so they should be there's no trouble in that regard. Looking forward to the results. <laughs> Yeah, Sol is here. Plenty of a ample amps and LA sheeting. Now Dunnan will apply self to making of cylinder cylinder. Will not be moment. It's all finished. And done in fact harder skill rather skilled at handiwork, so it's not a tough job. Now moment of tube. Time to take special dun dun silver cylinder for dip. Friends watch him learn. Spectacular treasure is waiting for discovery. You done done go. Monster! Uh, set a so attack your treasure alike, but done done found and followed by big bad monster on the way back. Sorry, friends, could dispose of Tactus Urchon for done done? Is maybe no other way to open treasure otherwise. Thanks in advance. Alright. <laughs> Well, that took a lot of damage right away. Okay. At long last, Dundun finally get pause of Granatonic Quest. Now to take, take to partner and finish off budget. If get all of certain fame and great number, Dundun can say goodbye to life's 
laving under crowd sea. Dun returned to Tornanel, greatest of Fanking's defense. Ah. The Dun leave collectibles here as a reward like promise. Hope will come in handy. Alright. Lurkey. We got Spinal Chip, which is different. Looks more powerful. I'm gonna focus on Jin and Mephra first in terms of buffing up their damage. It seems like it works better. Alright. Oh, now we have a weapon vendor. This wasn't here before, and now we have one. Actually, well, it was here before, the unless we couldn't initially use it for anything. All right, time to save the game and call it quits. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, your joy card, subscribe, and I'll see you. You in the next video where we continue playing through this awesome game. Until then, see you guys later. Bye.